A compelling insight into the life of the artist Adam Cullen is presented in the actor Thomas M. Wright's debut feature. And what an assured debut it is. It's based on the book by Eric Jensen, who co-wrote the film with Wright, about his relationship with the Mercurial award-winning artist. Eric Thank Jensen, you. Toby Wallace, was a 19-year-old reporter for the Sydney Morning Herald when he was sent to do a cover story for Spectrum about Cullen, played with consummate skill by Daniel Henschel. When the story was printed, Cullen invited Eric to be his biographer. He said he'd been approached by a publisher. Cullen lived in the Blue Mountains outside Sydney and Eric's regular visits resulted in some outrageous and occasionally dangerous behaviour. <laughs> How was that? It's <laughs> <That was> good. <laughs> Tell me about your family. The book's about me, Digger. Cullen's fascination with guns, which would eventually lead him into trouble with the law, his alcohol and drug consumption, his erratic behaviour, were the basis for an uneasy but long-lasting relationship between the two. Wright's command of his medium is most impressive. He's chosen his collaborators well. Cinematographers Jermaine McMicky, with whom Wright had worked on the Jane Campion series, Top of the Lake, China Girl, and Stefan Duskio have just done splendid work. It's been sublimely edited by Luca Capelli, and Evelyn Ida Morris's soundtrack contributes enormously to this portrait of the artist. The performances are wonderful too, with Max Cullen, Adam's cousin, playing his father, and Genevieve Lemon, his mother, with Gillian Jones as Eric's fellow journalist and mentor. But it's Toby Wallace and Daniel Henschel who hold us enwrapped in the tortuous dance these two are involved in as biographer and artist. It's exciting to see the emergence of a new talent in the filmmaking scene in this country. And I have a feeling Adam Cullen would be quite pleased with this portrait of himself. Yes, if, if Adam Cullen was ever pleased with anything, God, what, well, an that's what I mean. a dreadful, I... awesomely dreadful person this Adam Cullen actually was. He makes Brett Whiteley look like a, you know, an angel, really. God knows. Um, it's interesting. I think you're right. The contribution of the various sort of departments, I think, where he makes this film, the, the photography is absolutely yeah. exceptional, uh, even though the two characters are not particularly prepossessing figures. You know, the biography is not the most interesting person either. I mean, both are pretty dire figures, well, really. He's, you know, um, he's 19. He's really young, mm -hmm. dealing with, you know, I mean, was Cullen bipolar? I mean, he obviously had, you know, mental illness of some sort. Well, I think that's true, yes. And, yes. and I, But I think that depiction of him, I mean, I found the portrait mesmerising, actually. Well, and it's dreadfulness, yes. He's an absolutely appalling figure. He's like something out of a black thriller. He's, oh, you know, he's just absolutely Graham, vile. Stop. I mean, he's he not is, that bad. He is, he is pretty bad. Seriously. Well, he's, you know, he's majorly eccentric, mm. uh, quite dangerous on occasions with his obsessions. But, you know, I, at the same time, you know, I, I, found, I found him really fascinating. I'm giving this four stars. I think it's really, really good. Well, even though I loathe Cullen, I'm giving it four as well. It is absolutely, superbly directed. Read the article. Fuck, mate, you're a writer. Hmm. Tempton Hudson won a biography. It's going to be comprehensive, mate. No? I want you to write it. Um, well, I've got a room. When can you get out here? You fucking get it, mate. Everything I want said. <laughs> Adam Cullen is not difficult. Neither is he one-dimensional. I want my dad to read this book. I mean, I wanted to start with Snowtown okay. and how significant that film was in your career. Absolutely. It still opens doors for me. Um, it definitely put me out there and... Um, there is a lot of appreciation, not only for the, the performances in it, but the way the film was made, the filmmaker, the cinematographer, the production design. Everyone in that film has gone on to do many things. How did you get connected with Acute mis Misfortune? So Tom M. Wright, the um, co-writer and director and producer, uh, knew a friend of ours. Tom got in contact with me through him. He said, I've got a book that I would like you to read. I've just got the rights to this book. The book is Acute Misfortune, The Life and Death of Adam Cullen by Eric Jensen. Um, have a read, see what you think, and let's talk. And that's kind of how it started three, four years ago. 
Also, Adam was a huge fan of film and the cultural landscape of Australia. And I guess in a meta term, having the guy from Snowtown, which Adam was a very fan of, and getting Rob Connolly, who directed The Boys, that Adam was also a fan of, and ended up painting David Wenham, winning the um, 2000 Archibald Prize for painting David. Um, getting those nuances in the film and those details in the film was a big part of um, telling that story and telling Adam's story. And, um, you know, and I think he thought that like Adam needed story. to have menace yeah, and he saw that in Snowtown, but also needed to have uh, an affability and a likability and a charisma, which, you know, and, 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 and empathy, uh, an actor who could play the empathy of the character. And hopefully we get to, we, we, we get that in the film. I think he saw that, you know, in some of the performances that I'd given and was interested in trying to mesh all that together in, in one performance. Thomas so. Wright has come out of left field as a director. I right, mean, he's right. not directed yeah. anything before. Nothing on camera. Not a short film. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. He's uh, an incredible uh, creative, um, salacious uh, appetite, ambition, drive. If it weren't for Tom, this wouldn't have been made into a film, I don't think, you know, the way it has been made into a film and... He involved the family, um, which we spent a great deal of time with, um, and Jason Martin, uh, one of Adam's close friends and art dealer. We, we had the access to the actual Adam Cullen estate, um, you know, and then he worked with Eric, who wrote the book, writing the screenplay and, and, and sort of, you know, Tom's vision and Eric's vision kind of um, competed at times, but, you know, uh, Tom in his way kind of, made the film more of a investigation into the relationship between the two of them and the book is definitely more of an sure. investigation on, on Adam and Adam's, you know, personal uh, behaviours and the reasonings and the manifestations of where they came from and it's very much a, a directed at Adam but the film is very much through Eric's point of view and I think that's, that's, that's a credit to Tom. Tell me just also before we finish about working with Toby Wallace because it is a two-hander. Absolutely. And- you know, I, I, I thought that was a really interesting relationship. Toby that was is, created. he's magnificent. We, like Tom had this idea that we wouldn't meet until the first day of shooting. So we met during the audition process, but after that we hadn't really spent any time together in pre-production. And on the first day we were separated but and it was like we'd met. That lasted about five and a half minutes and we just, I, I adore him and, and, and I have to thank him so much for his confidence in the film. He, he was a great confidant of mine and, and, and vice versa throughout the process because we both struggled at times. And, um, yeah, his energy, just every day he would come and he would perform and he would, you know, uh, just give great, great stuff to work with. Are you talking to other people? Are you? 